needling the hands and arms, head and forehead. Acupuncture anesthesia is a subject that fascinates us, and during the Acolif treatment, we employ a few anesthetic points on the hands and arms to help patients with the needle experience. Most patients who have Acolif treatment do not find the needles to be too much of a problem at all. However, we have found that patients are a lot more comfortable when anesthetic points are used during the session. General analgesic and sedation effects may help to calm the heart and secure the spirit. Acupuncture points on the hands and arms. This step utilizes the anesthetic nature of the selected acupoints. LI4, PC4, and TH8. Needle size 25 by 0.16, gauge 40. Technique is done bilaterally. It is important to achieve the chi. Always use LI4 as it forms part of the four gauge treatment and has so many benefits. We mostly use PC4 and TH8 when a patient seems particularly nervous or jittery about the treatment and will benefit from extra sedation. These two points are situated on meridians that run into the chest area. This has a calming effect on the patient's respiration and helps them to relax during the procedure. Note, LI4 is contraindicated in pregnancy. Large intestine 4, HECU, joining the valley. Location, in the webbing of the thumb and index finger at the highest spot of the muscle when the thumb and index finger are brought together. Element, metal, functions. Point for all facial symptoms. Disperses wind, suppresses pain. Applications, can reduce headache pain, toothache, shoulder pain, alleviates pain and inflammation of the hand, wrist, elbow, shoulder, neck. LA4, in combination with liver 3, is a famous ancient formula called the four gates and is used for alleviating pain and stress. It is a very powerful method and balances the body's chi, opening circulation throughout the meridians. Like liver 3, LA4 is also a source point and is indicated for many conditions. When needled, LI4 often produces a strong sensation or ache. The large intestine meridian travels up to the face, so almost any symptom related to that region calls for this point. There is evidence that by needling LI4 in healthy volunteers, the blood perfusion volume of the bilateral acupuncture areas of the face are effectively increased. Studies such as this demonstrate why LI4 is such an important point in the Aculif protocol. LI4 is source point, entry point, Madanyang, heavenly star point, very influential point of the face and mouth, one of the nine needles for returning the young. First aid acupuncture block out if needles are in the lower body. LA4 is a classic, powerful, and frequently used acupuncture point. As with any source point, it can be used to test for the CF and also to support or augment the effect of other points on the meridian. It helps rid the body, mind, and spirit of garbage, which may have accumulated over many years. When combined with bladder 59, it can have a marked effect of further removing toxins from the system. Both points have the additional name of Great Eliminator. The patient may experience a physical or emotional discharge after treatment as it eventually brings calmness to the system. Forbidden throughout pregnancy. This point assists the patient in letting go on all levels, but especially with sadness, grief, or a sense of loss, thus allowing in those things of value. Consider or problems in the face and mouth, such as migraines, headaches, toothache, earache, or nasal congestion. When used with liver 3, a protocol known as the four gates, this point can have a wonderful effect of calming the patient on the levels of body, mind, and spirit. Strengthens the defensive chi. Triple burner 8, San Yang Luo, three young connection. Located on the dorsal plane of the forearm, Fourth soon about the transverse wrist crease between the ulna and radius. Element, fire. Functions, needled through to PC4 in acupuncture anesthesia. Eases pain and removes blockages. Applications, toothache, voice loss, deafness, hand and arm pain. As outlined in the section on acupuncture anesthesia, triple heater 8 is used in conjunction with PC4 as an anesthetic point. Triple burner 8 is the group junction point of three upper young meridians, SI, TH, and LI. Good for lack of vitality, complete exhaustion, or inertia. Consider for deafness or loss of voice. Activates the meridian in cases of arm or shoulder pain. Location, 
again is fortune proximal to the dorsal wrist joint space or the dorsal wrist crease between the radius and the ulna radial to the tendon of the extensor digitorum communis muscle. This is an excellent point in thoracic pain on the side and flanks. Pericardium 4, she men, or gate of chi reserve, location between the palmaris longus and flexor carpi radialis on the link line between PC3 and PC7, on the inside of the arm, fired soon above the transverse crease of the wrist. Element, fire, functions, needled through the arm from TH8 in acupuncture anesthesia, alleviates pain, clears heat from the chi, and calms the shen. Applications, stops vomiting, heart pain, palpitations, coughing blood, pain of the elbow and arm. PC4 is used as an analgesic point with TH8, known as an accumulation or chi cleft point. PC4 is where chi and blood gather. This point is a gate to a tremendous reserve of energy. One of the strongest points on the body, it can bring peace and serenity to a troubled heart. It can help regulate the rhythm of the heart as in arrhythmia. Consider this point for generalized apprehension and fear of strangers. Helpful for neuralgia of the middle forearm, hand, or fingers. It is said to strengthen the mind and bestow mental courage. As the accumulation point, it strengthens the meridian, especially in acute situations, heart or chest pain, or as a result of shock. Helps calm PC-type disturbances arising from long-term emotional hurt, often used with triple heater 7. Needling the head and forehead. Make sure that the skin is totally clean of any makeup and dirt. Use natural cleanser that does not contain chemicals. If, despite using points indicated for the anesthetic properties, your patient is particularly sensitive to facial needles, use mild anesthetic cream. Lidocaine 5% can be applied to areas of the face you will be paying particular attention to, similar to cream that the tattooists use in their studios. Needs to be applied 30 minutes prior to facial needling and any residue should be removed before treatment commences. Use disposable spatula to apply cream. Try to avoid contact with your fingers at this stage as much as possible. You can carry out the treatment without any cream. There is very little pain or discomfort due to the needles. Preference. For facial work, plastic handled needles due to lightweight remain more upright in the face even with shallow needling. As the number of needles in use increases, the face is still accessible. This is helpful when we come to using intodermals as it will give you much more room to work on the face. When conducting Aculift, stand or sit at the back of your patient working over the top of their head and face. By needling from this position, you will always be using a lifting technique as you needle towards yourself. By continually using this technique, you will get into the habit of lifting the patient's face as you work. Now let's go to the acupuncture points on the head and forehead. Do 20 by Hui. Located on the dorsal midline, Five soon posterior to the anterior hairline on the crown of the head. Calms the spirit, soothes the liver, raises the young, benefits the head, and counters prolapse. Applications, headache, heaviness of the head, dizziness, tinnitus, nosebleed, poor memory, and lacto. Needle size, 25 by 0.16 and gauge 40. Technique, evens, angle, posterior at 75 degrees. The two my channel is often translated as the governor vessel and do 20 is the highest acupuncture point on the body. We have heard this point referred to as upright pillar, a point where a patient would hang from a golden thread which would keep them upright when they have the weight of the world on their shoulders. We are using do 20 in the context of the acolyph treatment to lift the face and to also relax the patient. This is another powerful spirit point which sits on top of the head the meeting place of the 100 spirits. It calls upon our innate wisdom and knowledge and can bring everything together if a patient is fragmented, disconnected, chaotic, or severely agitated. In these cases, it is commonly sedated in conjunction with Do 19 so that the patient may be returned to a calm and serene place. It connects to the deep pathway of the liver and thus can be effective in cases where anger, frustration, depression, or lack of vision predominate. It strengthens the ascending function of the spleen and can be considered for prolapse of the anus, vagina, or uterus. 
as the crossing point of all the young meridians situated as it is in a prime position to receive the heavenly influxes. On a meridian that regulates the young, this is a point that strongly influences this aspect of a person. Clears the senses and nourishes the brain. When combined with kidney one, the point closest to the earth, a patient can be helped to reconnect with their authentic self and their rightful position between heaven and earth. Yin Tang, Hall of Impression, located midpoint between the medial end of the eyebrows, muscle, procerus. Functions, comes the spirit, applications, frontal headache, sinus and eye issues, and insomnia. Yin Tang is an extraordinary point, but unlike other extra points, it is found on the Tumai channel. Many people describe its location as being in the region of the third eye. Use gentle stimulation upon insertion. Needle size 15 by 0.20 mm, gauge 36. Technique tonification. Angle posterior at 75 degrees. As one of her favorite points to use for many treatments in the clinic, Yin Tang has a noticeable calming and relaxing effect on the patient. We have often likened it to closing the open windows on a computer screen, as the often busy mind of the patient quickly starts to shut down. Using this point towards the beginning of the aculeaf treatment is an effective preparation for the rest of the needling. It also activates the procerus muscle, opening up the area between the eyebrows. Bladder 6, Ching Guang, Light Guard, located 1.5 tsun lateral to the midline, 2.5 tsun within the anterior hairline. Element, water, functions, enhances eyesight, alleviates pain, clears the head, and eliminates the wind. Applications, headache, glaucoma, and dizziness. Bladder 6 is a point that is rarely used as its main functions are to clear the eyes. In the Aculift session, we use Bladder 6 purely for its location, although when looking at anti-aging as a whole, enhanced eyesight is a particularly good side effect from using this point. Consider for severe mental disorders, helps to calm the mind and spirit, for nasal congestion and loss of sense of smell protects and treats disorders of the eye and brightens the eyes. Needle size 25 by 0.16 mm, gauge 40. Technique, needled as you pull back on the patient's forehead. Pull the skin gently towards the rear of the head and then insert the needle. You are effectively pinning back the scalp using this method. Needle bilaterally using Evans technique. Angle posterior at 45 degree angle to the scalp. GB14, Young Bai, Young White. Location, one soon above the eyebrow, directly in line with the pupil. Muscle, frontalis, element, wood. Functions, alleviates pain, enhances eyesight, expels wind, and benefits the head. Applications, eye disease, headaches, facial paralysis, vertigo, drooping of the eyelid, and deviation of the mouth. GB41 is a very good point for pain of the head and to benefit the eyes, in particular for sagging eyelids. It can also be used in cases of facial paralysis and has been chosen in many studies researching the treatment of Bell's palsy using acupuncture. Bell's palsy is an acute peripheral unilateral facial weakness or paralysis with an as yet unknown cause. A study has just been published highlighting the positive effect of the chi for patients with early onset of Bell's palsy. The chi is an internal compound sensation of soreness, tingling, fullness, aching, cool, warmth, and heaviness, and the radiating sensation at and around the acupoints. Six months following the treatment, it was found that acupuncture with the chi improved facial muscle recovery, disability, and quality of life among patients with Bell's palsy. Stronger intensity of the chi was associated with better therapeutic effects. These recent findings are encouraging for the specific treatment of Bell's palsy and for Aculift in general, especially as half of these points are used in the Aculift protocol. Up until now, we have mainly limited the chi to the body points as due to the many facial points involved, there was a potential for the treatment to be overwhelming if all points were needled in this way. A proportion of the points used have also been selected in the most part for their location and work with the underlying muscle group. To a certain extent, we will be aiming to achieve the chi for related points depending on the requirements of the patient and the specific facial issue they are looking for us to work upon. However, in light of this new research, we will certainly explore this in even more depth. It is important to remember that any protocol is organic and must continue to grow and develop 
for optimum results to be achieved. Despite Aculift already garnering effective results in our practice and for those trained in the protocol, acupuncture is a lifelong study. We look forward to continuing to maximize the results of the treatment and reporting our findings in future publications. Returning to gallbladder 13, the many studies for facial paralysis utilizing this point unilaterally demonstrate its use for lifting the facial muscles. This is what we're aiming to achieve when using GB14 as it is located on the frontalis muscle, which is responsible for lifting the eyebrow. The method for needling GB14 will demonstrate this muscle training technique. Needle size 15 by 0.20 mm, gauge 36. Technique, when needling, do so bilaterally and use your other hand to pull back on the forehead. This will have the effect of pinning back the eyebrows. If needled correctly, the side just needled will remain lifted when you take your other hand away. Effective combination with intradermal needling you will carry out to raise the eyelids. Needle bilaterally using Evans technique. Angle, posterior, and 75 degrees from the forehead. Forehead point. This is an additional point that we use in the Aculift protocol. Located approximately 1.5 tun or 2.5 cm above yin tongue, this point is used for reducing forehead tension as well as lines and wrinkles in that area. Needle size 15 by 0.20 mm, gauge 36. Technique needle with upwards motion. Thank you very much for listening.